Hey folks, part two. <laughs> part two of I don't know how many, probably five or six. Anyway, we are now on the, this would be the east side of the property. Doing a little show and tell here. Trying to market this, this place as we are selling and moving to New Mexico. I'm also going to do a bunch of pictures because oftentimes the pictures are much easier to see the definition. Sometimes when you're doing videos like this, it's, it's, a, it's a big sea of green and it can be difficult to see. To see the definition. But you get an idea. I think both videos and pictures. That way people get an idea of what it looks like. Try not to move the camera all at once. My videographer skills are not where they need to be. Alright, let's head down this way. Heading towards the southeast corner of the property. I'm going to duck under some bamboo and bananas here. Head back towards our utility shed, as you see there. Now, follow where I'm poking my walking stick slant pointer. Through that gate, you can see a good bit of sunshine poking through here. Back in there is a two to three acre wetland, probably closer, probably three acres, maybe three, three and a half acre wetland back there. Of course, if I want to sound really nice, I'll call it a pond, but it's a wetland or a pond, whatever you want to call it, shallow pond. Composting area. Woohoo! Alright, straight ahead here is our scrub area. Can't see it here. It's past this past this oak in that area. You'll see it. <coughs> Sorry, I just inhaled a bug. Huh, one of the many benefits. It's a scrub area. And I have been throwing a lot of biomass back there. A lot of nature's fertilizer growth. Alright. There's a train headed our way. We do have a train. We do have train tracks in the back. It doesn't bother us, but if if some people have a, an aversion to trains, it, it might not work for you. Anyway, a few years back when we got here, 2017, this was all what I would call rural rural grass. Kind of a grassy area. And we have planted a whole lot of trees to try to turn this into a food forest. So we have loquats, red sumac, peaches, figs, bananas, mulberries, guava, uh, Suriname cherry. I've, I've planted um, Tindora back here, sweet potato. We've brought in a few of these. Nitrogen fixing uh, interlobiums, I think they are, uh, ear pod trees or monkey ears. Also brought some Eliagnus back here. Got, uh, you're looking at an apple tree here that's given us exactly two apples in five years. <laughs> so what I did is I got a couple of um, cra native crab apples and put them on, the, on either side of this apple. I think this apple is a... Um, Anna apple. We had a Dorset and an Anna, and the Dorset died. It died. The Anna's still hanging out, though. Uh, what else have we planted back here? Um, oh, native plums. A uh, uh, couple, three different types of native plums. One's a flatwoods plum. One's a Chickasaw plum. And I can't remember the others. We've also planted pears back in here. We've got. Uh, Five pears. I think a bald one, a hood, a Florida home, and two sand pears. Like I said, mulberries, guavas, citrus, several different citrus. Oh, here's a, a big Simpson stopper here. This Simpson stopper is huge, and it's already uh, it's already popped off some offspring, if you will. It's got some babies growing around it. So yes, guava, pear, bananas. There's a nice rack of bananas for you. This is from a dwarf namwa tree. And they say you can't you can't 
grow bananas unless you, you have 18 months of frost-free environment or whatever. I've read that in books. Well, we had 11 degrees, maybe not right here where these bananas are, but like 30 or 40 feet behind it. We had 11 degrees on my thermometer. My thermometer's not broken. I've got, I've got several thermometers. So that's just not true, frost-free. Or I'm working some magic and I just can't figure it out. But uh, now I, it may be right at the banana. You can't have it coated with frost. Okay, I'll buy that, the banana plant. But as far as in an area that has to be frost free, no. We had frost pockets all around here. But again, maybe not right where that banana plant was since I've have kept it heavily mulched and, uh, and watered well, moist. Decent area. Okay. Well, let's head this way. I think this, uh, might have got ready to stop this video and go to part three. <laughs> Here's some figs for you. Mexican sunflower straight ahead. A couple of guava, Eliagnus. And of course I'm growing uh, um, lab lab bean or hyacinth bean pretty much all over this place. I will right, we'll stop this and we'll go to video three here shortly.